Hey guys, Tina here and welcome to my Reading Rush TBR. Uh, Reading Rush, previously known as uh, Booktubeathon, is taking place uh, from the 22nd to the 29th of July and I obviously want to participate. I have a rather ambitious TBR uh, and given that there's been a lot of reading previously this month or you know trying to do a lot of reading anyways um, I'm not sure if this is really a feasible thing probably not because it is completely or ambitious because I have a book for each you know a different book for each challenge which is it's not gonna happen but still one does try to well do his best or her best and hope as well that uh, you get through as many books as you can but I'm rambling now and uh, let's just get to the challenges so the first challenge is to read a book with purple on the cover and for this I chose Traitor to the Throne by Alvin Hamilton this is book two in the Rebel of the Sand series which I read a while back and uh, pretty vague on the synopsis I know it follows this girl who lives in the desert and her family has her future planned out for her and she really doesn't care for that so she sort of rebels and meets this boy and they go on adventure together and stumble into some things that she's definitely it was she was definitely not meant to um live through uh, and uh yeah i quite enjoyed it it was not like my favorite book but i did enjoy it enough to actually get a sequel so i i think it's time that i finished that one and this is why i chose this particular book for this particular challenge Challenge number two is to read a book in the same spot uh, the entire time. So basically you choose a spot and every time you pick a certain book up you go to that spot and read it there and I chose a rather short one and one that has uh, been in my life for a while as well and I have tried reading it a couple of times but I never got around to finishing it even though it's like 120 pages which is ridiculous. And the book I'm talking about is uh, Lady Susan by Jane Austen which is a really short one and this time I will get it done I will read it and finish it and hopefully enjoy it it's about this woman that's rather unpleasant and um, it's in letter format so you get to see how people feel about her through their letters and you also uh, see her letters obviously read her letters and uh, yeah there's also a movie adaptation for this one and that I do want to see and just you know I could always choose this book if I do not manage to get through other ones as a move, book to movie adaptation as well so it doesn't you know there's that option as well but hopefully i will uh not have to do that but yeah but still i would like to see the movie despite that so yeah challenge number three is read a book uh, you meant to read last year and there are so many books i meant to re read last year but i didn't get around to doing that but since i want to finish this one series i decided to go with hero uh, at the fall again by Oh, sorry, <coughs> Elvin Hamilton, and this is book three in the series. Um, clueless as to what this book is going to bring me. It's a rather chunky one. Actually, both are, but the font is rather large, so it doesn't worry me. Also, you know, it's young adult, and both books are available on script, so I can uh, sort of, you know, listen to a bit and read a bit, or however things are going to please me. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed. I finish this series off because that would make me very happy. And then we have another challenge, and that is to read an author's first book. For this, I decided to go with an epic fantasy book, um, and it's called uh, it's by Sam Hawk uh, called The City of Lies, which is an arc that I received it last year, and I still haven't gotten around to reading it, which is I know it's terrible, but I just I just couldn't pick up the books last year. I just you know I just wasn't in the mood. Anyways, no excuses. I want to get it done now. I have heard very mixed things about this book. People really don't seem to enjoy it. So, fingers crossed that that's not going to be the case with me. Uh, but even if it is, you know, things happen. So, yeah. Anyways, this is for another challenge as to what it is about. I have no clue. I just, I, you know, I remember reading the synopsis and liking it and thinking that I'm going to enjoy it. But since then, I have forgotten it. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. Goodreads is our friend and we can always check books out there. So yeah, uh, challenge number five is to read a book with a non-human main character and uh, I decided to go with Martha Wells' Artificial Conditions which is book two in the Murderbot series. It's a series of novellas and I have read, uh, all systems read the first book, was it last year? I think it was last year and I really enjoyed it. Murderbot is this um, AI I think and it's designed to protect people and obviously murder people as well and um, 
in the first book, uh, Murderbot, I don't know, I consider her a she, it could be an it, or it could be a he, I don't know, however you want to, uh, I just title it. Uh, anyways, uh, this Murderbot is uh, on this mission with a group of scientists and things definitely do not go according to plan and uh, I don't know, I just like the character and uh, I want to continue on with her, its its story <laughs> and I already sort of picked up uh, artificial uh, conditions a while back but I never finished it so I think it's time that I do that. Then we have uh, challenge number six which is to pick a book that has five or more words in the title and for this one I actually the the original book that I decided to go for this challenge was uh, Becky Chambers The Long Way to a Small, Small Angry Planet which is a very popular book. I do not know what it's about except that it follows a crew of people, I guess, that are trying to get to a planet, which is what I'm guessing. And people really seem to enjoy this one and I've had it for ages as well. So this is one option for this um, particular challenge. The other one is a much more a shorter one, but also much, I think a much more frustrating one. And that is The Slow Regard of Silent Things uh, by Patrick Rothfuss. I've tried this one before and I didn't get that far. It's really weird, which is what he tells you at the beginning of the story, but I do think that I would like to finish it. Um, because potentially the last book is coming out next year and I will probably have to reread books one and two anyways. So why am I reading this one? I don't know. I just want to read it and maybe this is going to be the right time for this challenge. We are following the character of Ari, Ori, Ari. And uh, she's a very whimsical character in uh, his um, Name of the Wind series, uh, King Killer Chronicles, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, she's a fun character. I enjoy her in the books. Here, uh, I don't know. Fingers crossed I will enjoy it more than I did at the beginning, but yeah, you never know. So the last challenge is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. And for this one, I again chose a book that I've already started this year, but again, never got that far into it. And that is Mortal Engines by Philip Reed, uh, Reeve. Uh, and uh, this is uh, sort of, I don't know, it's a quartet of books. I'm not sure if it's middle grade, it's YA, what it is, it, I, I, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, at the beginning of the, the book you follow London uh, as it is following and hunting this smaller town. Uh, the, the towns or cities are actually mobile and they uh, travel across the country and capture other places and basically rob them and just sort of, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's, it's a really interesting concept and I enjoyed the idea behind it. I, as I said, never got around to getting very far into the book. I tried watching the movie but fell asleep, so I will have to rectify that if I want to complete this challenge. Um, but yeah, this is actually the last book uh, for my TBR uh, for the Reading Rush. Fingers crossed that I will be in the mood and I also will have time to get through as many as I possibly can. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you're participating in the Reading Rush, let me know down in the comments what books you are picking up. I really want to see what people decide to, to read. And thank you for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye!